Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now today I'm going to be cross-pollinating two of my Echinopsis cactus plants. And here we have blooming beautiful Echinopsis IRC with two gorgeous lilac colour blooms here. And also another Echinopsis, I haven't got the ID for this one, but it's a lovely beautiful white flowery one. And a sort of lovely sort of nice spination on this. Two more buds on the way. As you can see here, another bud on the way there. And they're both flowering on the same day. So perfect opportunity to cross pollinate the flowers. And sometimes when I just have the one flower, then I'll pollinate that one. But if you've got two different ones, great to cross pollinate them. And I have made quite a few videos when I've done this before. But for new people who are new subscribers who have not, who have not seen this before, then this is what you can do if you've got two different Echino Echinopsis plants flowering at the same time. Now, you have to make sure when you do uh, pollinate cactus flowers, when you're cross-pollinating them, that it has to be the same genus. For example, I couldn't cross-pollinate an Echinopsis cactus flower um, with an Astrophytum cactus flower such as that one because they're two different genuses and you can't cross cacti in that way. It has to be the same, but these are two different species of the same genus and uh, this is going to be exciting to see. See? So here we go, let's get going. First of all, I'm just going to show you how beautiful this gorgeous white flower is here. Very, very pretty and lovely long flower stem. Loads of black hairs all on it. Gorgeous. And this one, Echinopsis irisi, twin blooms today and a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Just look at that. It's very beautiful and the lovely big stigma hanging out. Lovely deeper pinky, pinky sort of lilac colour petals and again a very long flower flower stalk there as well with lovely black hairs on and more buds on the way so very exciting and what I want to do is get the the pollen from this flower onto the stigma of this flower here and vice versa and also onto that one there very very easy to do and I have made multiple videos on how to pollinate cactus flowers many many different types of genesis um, if you want to know how to do that then do check out that playlist I'll link the playlist up above and also put the playlist down below is pollinating many many different types of cactus flowers and have very successfully got seed that way sometimes when you when you do pollinate cactus flowers it can be very hit and miss sometimes sometimes it's a success other times it's not but it's always good fun to play the bee anyway and we have had quite a few bees in the polytunnel now I mean now it's it's autumn time here but there still seems to be quite a lot of bees about which is good but it always gives it a helping hand anyway. So here we go. Now, this is all that lovely pollen all on the edge in there. So you want to make sure that you use a clean little brush. This is a little sort of eye makeup brush, which is clean, obviously. But you can use a little Q-tip, a cotton wool tip, or anything really that you can get the pollen on onto the stigma. And you want to load all this up here. Just tapping on there onto the pollen. And there you go, you can see the pollen on the end there, the lovely yellow pollen. And now I want to get this onto the stigma on here. So you just want to gently rub it on. You only need a tiny bit for it to be a success, like that. And then what I can do then is load up the pollen from this one. Here, exactly the same thing again. As you can see, there's loads of pollen there. And then I'm going to then transfer that onto the stigma, onto this one here. And that's all you have to do. And I'll also do the same with the other one. So very, very easy. And if you just have the one plant and you have the, the two flowers, for example, I could just transfer, cross-pollinate these two as well. But I, I personally find I have more success when I cross-pollinate two different varieties of Echinopsis. But I have also pollinated when they've just had flowers on the same plant with, with good success. As you can see, I just show you some of these, the pollinations, we've got lovely seed pods forming on them there and also on there. So it, it does work, but it can be hit or miss whether it's a success. But if you have seed, give it a go. And I'll just show you that that seed pod has actually burst open. Look at all the seed inside. This is one that we pollinated before. And that is very, well, that is completely ready to harvest now. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, please check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com. 
www.cacticsandsucculents.com and if you want to know how to get your cacti and succulents to flower then please check out a video I've made on how to get your cacti and succulents to flower links also up above and down below in the video description I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of flower power from across the Emerald Isle and until my next video bye